So let me introduce the three players that you have sitting up here before you. First, a native of Fargo, North Dakota, a 20-time winner while at North Dakota State University, which is a collegiate record. I think actually breaking Julie Inkster's record. Pretty impressive. She's in her second year on the LPGA Tour and recently passed her CPA exam. So as you can imagine, she is very popular on the LPGA Tour during tax season. <laughs> Amy Anderson. A native of Dayton, Ohio, who turned pro in 2009 at the ripe old age of 17. Yes, she was playing on Symmetra at 16. Sorry, Mike, I won't talk too much about the young players. But in her third year right now on the LPGA Tour, she is sponsored by Volvic and is also one of the most fashionable players on tour. So if you ever have any questions on fashion, Victoria Elizabeth is your person. Victoria Elizabeth. <laughs> And last, but certainly not least, we have a two-time LPGA Tour winner, someone who we rely on quite often. She's one of our player directors on our LPGA board, a native of Brisbane, Australia, and now currently resides in Wichita. Just as Mike said, she pretty much represents our global tour to the max. And for all of those of you here, she actually used to spend some of her off seasons braving the beautiful winters of Michigan. So we give her a big round of applause for handling that, but Catherine Kirk. So ladies, first of all, welcome. I consider this kind of my hometown, so I know it was fun showing you guys around yesterday. You guys had the opportunity to come and really experience Ann Arbor, and I'm going to ask all of you to just kind of first talk about what really your first impressions were and what you saw from this community. We'll start with Victoria. Well, for one, it's beautiful here. Um, it's actually not quite as much of a hometown event as it is for you, but being from Dayton, um, it's not too far away, so I'm looking forward to all of my family and friends coming up to watch. But uh, it was such a great experience getting to be, getting to hit golf balls in uh, the big house and uh, ate some great food yesterday, really great food. Um, definitely going to have to hit the gym a lot this week. Um, and just the people here are so wonderful. You guys are so wonderful. I got to meet quite a few of you and... You know, I'm just, I'm really, really looking forward to coming here next year and for many years to come. Yeah, for me, for me, being from North Dakota, uh, I'm very used to the, the change in the seasons, and so having the fall weather here right now is just awesome. I love all the leaves turning and everything. Uh, it was really cool. We got to walk out of the tunnel at, in the big house with our golf bags, and I think that was just a really cool moment for me. I can't even imagine when all the fans are screaming. That would be so incredible to run out there at that point, but it was really cool the way it was. Um, and then, like Victoria said, the people. I've had a chance to meet a few of the different people here, and you guys are incredible. Just the welcome that we've felt in just a day and a half has been awesome. Catherine? I got my first taste of Michigan back in 05, and I think I've spent at least five or six weeks in Michigan every year since. And um, it's certainly about the people, and I know the LPGA girls are going to be super pumped to come here in May. So thanks for having us. Victoria, I'm going to start with you because you have that Volvic on your hat and on your jacket. You've been sponsored by them now for a couple of years. What does it mean to see them now kind of, you know, they've done so much for the Symmetra Tour, for all aspects of the LPGA, to now have them as a title sponsor of an LPGA event? So I actually played on the Symmetra Tour for four years, and in 2012, I switched to the Volvic Golf Ball, had my first professional win, and finished third on the money list, earning my LPGA card. Um, so... Volvic, it has been an incredible support for me, um, seeing how much the company's grown, how incredible the product has always been, but just always improving. Um, and it's kind of given me um, some room to express myself on the golf course. Um, you know, with the different, I actually play a different color golf ball every day. So, and I, and I match it to my outfit. <laughs> So, um, but no, it's just, it's so great that, um, you know, now we have a tournament sponsored by Volvic. They've done so much for the tour and so much for women's golf. And I'm really, really happy to be a part of the Volvic team. Okay. 
Catherine, having spent so much time in Michigan, what is it that makes this such a great golfing state? Why do LPGA players just love coming and playing in events here? Well, the, for one, the courses are incredible. Um, and I guess maybe because the season's so short, you all just have to make the most of it. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it in the winter, but um, no, I mean, I guess, yeah, you guys just love your golf and it's really neat to see and, and that's obviously what the LPGA is about. So we'll be uh, looking forward to the spring and praying for some good weather. If you guys could duplicate a few more days like this, we'd be back here all the time, all the time. <laughs> Amy, you know, they haven't had a professional golf event in Southeast Michigan really since 2009. The LPGA has never been in Ann Arbor for an official LPGA event. When you talk to fans about what they can expect, what is it about the LPGA that makes it different, and why do you think that fans are really going to enjoy the experience of coming out to watch this tournament? Uh, I think one of the big things is the players. Uh, instead of being, you know, if you go to maybe a PGA Tour event, you might be three or four people back from the players. Uh, when you come to an LPGA event, you're right up on the ropes. You get to talk to the players. They're going to sign every single autograph. It's really, it's really cool um, how the players just embrace the fans and want to make you feel welcome. And it's going to be ex exceptional golf. I think this is my second year on tour. And watching it on TV is not the same thing as being out here and watching um, and I love because I teed up every day with people that are the best players in the world, and I get a front row seat to it. And so I would love for all of you to come out and get that same view. Mm.